good morning guys in 3d printing another rubber band powered car um, that's our axle tubes so I've got bicycle spokes here They're about two millimeter steel rods and they're a tight fit in here I've printed the front wheels so they're 3d printed but the back wheels are going to be cds or dvds i think these are cds as it happens so i've printed off my gripper hubs fit in there and clip in place even though they clip in place they still spin round so I've got to add a bit of glue to them to or sticky tape to stop them actually sliding and yeah they just don't grip quite tight enough and then let's get the other wheel off. And then this bit, with a little peg sticking up on it, it's got to go on there. And that is much too tight a fit, even though it's the same sized hole as that. When it goes through the 3D printer, somehow or other, it just never ends up quite the way it should. So I've got to drill that out, but I need that to be a tight fit because that's going to be my hook on the axle. And the idea of that is we wrap the, I'm actually going to use cotton, wrap the cotton around there. And if I need a thicker axle, then I've made this one. Slide over there. And then we got a new peg on that side. And if you watched my videos, you'll know why we might want a thicker axle. It gives you more leverage for the rubber band, so it can move. Oh, that's tight at that end. It can move a, a heavier weight. So that's something I want to try out. But initially, we'll just see if we can get it together. go through yet. Um, yeah, we'll get it together and see if it works. Right. Using one of the axles as my drill bit. It actually heats up as it goes through and that actually melts it in place. Well, there we go. That works.
The only problem I had was the wooden dowel isn't entirely straight. So I had to twist it a little bit and run it and twist it and run it until we actually got that straight in relation to the back axle and the front axle. I think somewhere I might have some um, carbon fibre tube that's the same diameter. If I've got that then we should be absolutely fine because that will be straight and we're not relying on the wood staying straight then. So that might be version 2.